everyone, it's Alex here from the EMEA support team here at Papercut. Uh, I just wanted to basically run through how to install Papercut NG on a Windows operating system. Uh, in this example, I'm actually going to install it on a Windows 10 operating system. Most of you guys will probably be installing it on a Windows server operating system. So I do recommend checking our requirements uh, link that we've put in the YouTube video description uh, just to make sure that your version of Windows is obviously currently supported with Papercut. So definitely one to check before performing any installations. And also, um, for kind of like the scenario of this video, we do assume that you have a print server configured uh, on your network, either on the server or machine you're installing the paper cut application on or on another server that's on your network. So the first step is basically to run the paper cut ng installer. We'll be presented with the setup wizard. Uh, so just accept the agreement and then just leave all the default options um, unless you want to install the paper cut uh, ng application in a different location. Um, on your Windows machine. So we'll just wait for the installation to complete. It, it should take between a minute or two and um, then um, yeah the installation will be complete and then it will just be a case of going through the configuration setup. Uh, So whilst Papercut is installing, an important thing to note is that users must be printing via the printers shared from the print server. Otherwise, print jobs will not be tracked by Papercut. Okay, so once the installation wizard is complete, Papercut NG will be installed on your machine but you'll then be directed to the configuration page, which consists of four steps and basically provides paper cut with some initial settings. So the first step is to create an admin password for the built-in account that comes with paper cut. We would recommend using obviously a strong password but typically this account will be used by a sysadmin managing paper cut within your environment. So once the password has been set, click next, which takes us to the organization type step. Uh, for this particular example, we're gonna use the education organization type, but basically selecting one of these configurations Papercut will display custom questions for each configuration and will automatically apply the best user settings to suit the kind of organization previously chosen. So once you've selected your organization type, simply click next. And the next step, we're gonna set the default costs for color and grayscale printing. Okay, so here we've set 10p for a color page and 5p for a gray grayscale page. Again, this can be changed late, later on within the paper cut admin console. The next step is providing users with initial credit. So in this example, we'll just put 10 pounds, which means that after we've completed the next step, and we've imported our users into the paper cut system, they will all be provided with 10 pounds of credit to use for printing and copying. I've left the tick box tick to deny access when users run out of credit quota, but again, you can allow them to, to reach a negative balance if that's the way you want it to work. Let's click next. And finally, the next step is uh, the step where you choose how to import your users and 
populate the user list within Papercut. So there's four different options here. We've got Windows Standard, which basically imports all the local accounts from the machine you're installing the Papercut application on. Windows Active Directory, where you can basically import all your users from your Active Directory domain or specify particular OUs. We can also sync, synchronize from Azure AD and LDAP. In this example, I'm just gonna use Windows Standard. And I'm gonna select to import all users. And then finally, we just reach the confirm setup page. Just review uh, the configurations you've literally just set. If you're happy with it, click confirm. And here we see um, the user import window opening up, which will display the amount of users that have been imported into the system. Seven members here. And there we go, the configuration setup has been done and now we can now log in uh, to the Papercut admin console. There we go. The very first time you log into the Papercut administration console, you will notice a branding pop up in the middle of the screen. By clicking customize now, you will be directed to the branding section of the Papercut admin console, which allows you to upload custom logos. For this demonstration, I have selected the OK Got It as we will cover the branding setup in a separate video. So the page you will be presented with once you've logged into the Papercut admin console is the dashboard where you will see a lot of useful information at a glance like the amount of printing over the last 30 days, your printer statuses, the environmental impact of printing over certain periods and also other uh, system statuses that you'll find useful. Because Papercut is now actively tracking and controlling print jobs for the users we importing during the configuration setup, if we navigate to the Users tab, we can see the synchronized users list um, that we've imported from um, my Windows operating system. So these are all the local accounts uh, that are on uh, the Windows operating system here. So we can see that obviously none of the users have printed yet. Um, but if we open up the printers tab, we can also see that Papercut has picked up automatically and imported printers that it found on the network. <coughs> so from the printer list, we can see that no jobs have been printed yet. <coughs> So if we send a test print, we can see now that the user I'm logged in on the machine as, Alex G, has now got one page printed, one job. Right, I think that's about it. So thanks for taking the time to watch. If you need any further information, Please take a look at the other available videos on our YouTube channel and also check out our website which is full of knowledge base articles or you would feel free to log a support request at support.papercut.com and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.